hi guys how you all doing welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a subscriber and you're here again i appreciate you so much if you're a new subscriber thank you for coming on here i hope that uh, this channel is going to you know be of help in some way you know what do you do here personal development relationship and spiritual wellness matters and every episode comes with its own uniqueness and today guys i you know i love talking about relationships you know i love love talking about relationships and there is a certain relationship that has been sparking the interest of so many people and i happen to be one of those people and this relationship is the relationship between one of the renowned uh, vloggers that's mungai eve uh, she does content around interviews, you know, on life matters. And she also does a little bit of lifestyle here and there. Uh, if you don't know her, go check her out, Mungai Eve. She's a very young girl and has managed to, you know, really make it in this industry, in this digital content creation industry. And, uh, of course, her ex, that is Director Trevor. And uh this relationship has i mean people have really talked about this relationship for a while now and it sparked my interest considering we also do uh relationship wellness here and i just want to give my view on their relationship of course we don't have the whole story no one does but with the information they have decided to put out there then we can be able to also assess you know um do's and don'ts in a relationship and for a very long time munga eve has chosen to be silent about their relationship or rather their failed relationship we can say uh initially trevor is the one who spoke and um, we all saw what happened Tre they had you know a shared channel that is munga eve channel yes munga eve channel and uh, we know we know the work that director trevor was doing behind the scenes of course as the producer and mungai eve as the face of that channel why did i decide to you know um critique rather comment about or give my views about this relationship now people really had you know split views about uh trevor taking mungai eve's channel you know after it had grown to around 700,000 uh, subscribers and guys let me tell you on YouTube getting a subscriber is a miracle I don't know getting a subscriber getting to getting to a hundred thousand getting to I mean getting to those milestones does not come on a silver platter and so we know how painful it must have been maybe for Mungai Eve for Trevor to have decided to take a channel that had around 700,000 uh, subscribers. But then we want to ask ourselves, what would you have done if you were in Director Trevor's shoes? Honestly, I know that uh, I'm supposed maybe to be on the girl's side. That's what people think. But as a psychologist, honestly, I want to assess this situation in both, you know, I want to sit on the fence when it comes to this situation because I'm imagining, I feel like Trevor said it right. And please stay with me because we will assess this situation very fairly. Trevor said it right that Mungai Eve was the face of this channel, all right? And so you can imagine how hard it would have been, how hard it would have been for Trevor to start a whole new channel, yet. He was the one who was behind the scenes. In all honesty, for me, Trevor taking that channel was the right thing to have done. Because Mongai Eve had the opportunity to grow another one since she's the one people knew. And she's the work, like being the face of that whole channel should have been easier. Of course, not the easiest thing, but it would have been easier for her to build yet another channel easily than Trevor. Now, um... Matters pertaining to there's a lot of lot of <laughs> a lot a lot of things that uh, of course Trevor said concerning the same issue. Uh, we want to definitely focus on what's gonna help us, you know, and the goal of um, assessing the situation, you know, or whatever happened to their relationship, is to just understand what makes most relationships fail, and especially for 
for younger people right now you know i feel like we still do not understand what marriages are about and yeah so trevor talked about many other stuff now apart from just the business side of things you know he said that mungai eve was willing to buy like the whole channel but he wasn't willing according to him there, there's so much value in that channel beyond what she was willing to offer and um for me it was okay for, for for Trevor to take that channel. I don't know about their household stuff. Later on we came to learn that uh Trevor also carried the TV if I'm not wrong and a lot a lot of things that happened behind uh the scenes. But guys, now recently Munga Eve has obviously commented on the same on commentator's channel and uh if you haven't watched that interview maybe go watch and come and give your views also over here and uh one thing now the particular thing that sparked my interest and i felt like coming uh, on here to address that same issue is the attitude mongai eve had towards their relationship now let me remind you that mongai eve has been interviewed before concerning this relationship by sele you know if you know celestine guys i'm I mean I'm I'm mentioning a lot of names here but you can go and catch up here and there on the details and Mungai Eve really acknowledged and she has always acknowledged anyway that uh Trevor helped to some extent in terms of her coming out here and let me tell you guys if you have started something from the bottom then you know how important it is for that person that is able to hold your hand from the bottom you know let me tell you if if you grow if your brand grows if your business grows it is well it is good for those people who come and you know continue that growth the people who find you at the top it is fine that's good but let me tell you the person who gets you from the bottom that one is a priceless gem to be honest right so mungai eve acknowledges for you know in every probably in every way that uh, Director Trevor really helped to get her out there because um I mean you see she she uh, initially she did not see her potential maybe her vision was myopic to some extent because all she saw at the moment at that time she was doing journalism so she was on the right track but all she saw was employment but what Trevor saw was a big brand that could grow and that is the biggest blessing you will ever have especially as a woman that is one of the biggest blessings you will ever have someone who holds your hand someone who sees your vision someone who helps you grow your vision from the word go so anyways um you can go watch an interview like Mungai Eve had a while back with Cele Celestine Dinda you know uh, Njugushe's wife and uh she just talked about the struggles they had with Trevor where they started and all of that but recently she commented on commentator's channel and she said uh that she has come to realize that it's not love that brought her together with Trevor but circumstances and that immediately just uh caught my attention in that whole interview because i was like amazing i see let me tell you guys if you have had a church wedding or even if you have attended a church wedding you will hear most people say that a uh, uh, marriage is the only place where you get a certificate before you are actually tested right but in the case of maybe mungai eve and so many other people anyways who settle in with a person before they can before they get married officially you know a church wedding traditional wedding so such people who settle in with a person before you know they officially get married they have that opportunity to understand person a uh, uh, person i mean to understand their person uh better before they make it formal you know and so that has been the case for Mungai Eve and director Trevor Young as they are and even though circumstances are the ones that brought them together if you ask me i mean now we want to ask ourselves what what is marriage anyways you know because i feel like most people misunderstand and people will tell you that um uh, um a relationship you know marriages go through stages 
you know there are certain stages especially now if you start the formal way there are certain stages that marriages go through and there's that honeymoon stage and then the ones that follow after that so what has happened with mongai even trevor when she said that uh, it's not really love that brought them together it is because they started from i'd say from the end to the beginning you know they started from a bad situation so most marriages start from the honeymoon stage and then there is that stage of familiarity and that they and then there is that stage of stability where you guys now have learnt each other's weaknesses you have learnt and you see now when you start marriage the formal way or rather when you do it the christian way that you go to church how it wedding nini nini um there's a certain mentality you have of commitment you know that you're committed to this person no matter what of course there are exemptions you know like situations of cheating those things people get out of their marriages in that uh, in that case not all of course but there are exemptions i'm just saying there are situations that will make people leave their marriages even though they did them the formal way and even this marriage trevor's and because it was a come stay marriage you can call it that way these people stayed for 5 years together in the same house you know doing the same thing doing things uh together so it's not an exemption of course they found their own reasons that they have not really opened up to us concerning living one another but if what they have said is to go by then i can tell you for sure that their marriage their marriage started from the end to the beginning they first of all started with a stage of it wasn't a honeymoon stage because it was a circumstance that's why you will hear mongai eve saying we were brought together by circumstances but come to think of it my dear ones what is marriage really imagine a person who takes you at their worst you know at your worst the, mind you director trevor was not at his best you know it's not like he had all the money in the world he was also struggling you know he was also trying to make it financially but he still he still took this kagal in and you see that's the problem now with us um ladies you see after after munga eve grew wings i'm not even saying that Trevor is the one who got her there because to be honest she also put in the work you know after director Trevor saw the vision after director Trevor saw the potential in this girl she also put in the work because she was the one asking questions she presented her she risked you know uh, asking funny questions and being seen by the public looking weird and stupid you know she also put in the work but remember she didn't do it alone somebody held her hand from the beginning remember even she confessed that director Trevor decided imagine the risk he took he decided to leave a stable job well not that stable but he left his job because he saw there was a great potential between him and Mungai Eve to grow a brand and they sure did god favored their work and they sure did grow a beautiful brand but the problem is when Mungai Eve grew her wings she forgot there is the aspect of familiarity that came in if you ask me so these are the aspects we want to assess you know because now when it comes to marriage there is this level of familiarity that comes in you know and there is this resistance that grows between two people and now you stop seeing this person as the gem you saw them initially you know and to me honestly at this point where monga eve is saying it's not love that brought them together it is well it's not love that brought them together but what happened is that it was tested and tried you know whatever it is that they had was tested and tried and to be honest right now it's so difficult and she has confessed anyway in so many interviews that right not not even in so many interviews just in her normal conversations she has said that one of the challenges she knows she will experience right now is getting a genuine person and this is because most people right now just look at her for the grown brand she has become but trevor looked at the vision Trevor looked at the girl who was going to grow to what she is today and honestly let's think about it 
While Mongai Eve was with Trevor, she was able to still dress up well. That means he was not limiting her, you know. And we know we know that in most uh, relationships, you will hear that a guy was narcissistic. He was limiting her in the way she was going to use her money. He was limiting her, blah, 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 blah. But you could see Monga Eve was still doing well. I don't know what was happening because she talks about uh, having issues. Uh, she has a condition. I don't know about something to do with gas. You know, I don't know what she calls it, but I don't know if it's ulcers. I don't know. She has a condition. And she says that um, this year now is when she has been the healthiest. I don't know what was stressing her. This is what I'm saying. We don't have the whole problem on the table. But from what they have been saying, if you ask me what has ailed their relationship is the issue of familiarity and the issue of uh, just pride 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 on both uh sides anyway just to just feeling like we have all grown independent and we can do without each other but my heart goes out to both of them because i feel like it is especially the girl because what maybe they'd have done is go now for premarital you know of course premarital the proposed marital because they had stayed together for a while you know there is a certain level of relationship you will get to and because you have stayed with this person for so long what happens is that if you're not careful enough you will now start losing respect for this person because you have seen their flaws you have seen their weaknesses and now what you're seeing out there is perfect human beings just like you saw your person from the beginning so you're thinking that the people who are outside there are better but the truth is the one who started with you from the bottom that person is priceless honestly and this is the other thing i was saying and forgive me if my 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 ideas are everywhere they are scattered my my opinion is scattered you know here and they are talking about this talking about this but i hope you get the point we are talking about the issue of familiarity and pride in relationships even if it is being clearly said that uh, eve was not in love the truth is love is much more than the the butterflies and this has been said and it's a cliche but it's true honestly maybe she now desires because now of course she has grown her wings she has money she knows that soft life maybe she desires that that soft kind of love and maybe they had gotten used to each other so much they had b done business so much until they forgot that it was also about relationship that brought them together and therefore um i think the right thing to have done is not to have broken up you i mean breaking up with the very person who started with you from the bottom is not a very wise choice and because monga eve keeps saying that she wants to get married have children then i think their relationship is what they would have gone with i mean going for another new relationship right now is not a very wise choice so if you ask me they'd have gone to maybe a therapist maybe a counselor just to bring things back to the drawing board and to see why exactly they've been feeling the way they've been feeling but pride will not let them money will not let them but it's important for us to remember that marriage is much more than the flowers you brought uh the the chocolates you brought the trips to dubai you're taken the gifts your but all those things are good they are love languages and they're important they're important they are an important ingredient to love growing softer because you also want that vulnerability you want that soft space but you need to remember that the groundwork is very heavy the foundation is very heavy it doesn't go very it doesn't move as fast you know and so if that groundwork has been done then you cannot let that go just because of what happens after the groundwork you know that is not something you're supposed to compromise on another thing they forgot to do is compromise compromise is a word that is used usually very negatively but in marriage compromise is a must you know and one thing I have realized is that both of them have very strong personalities. Mungai Eve is an alpha woman and so is Director Trevor. So one thing that they like, they probably might have lacked is something called compromise. And compromise says that I can sit and listen, you know. 
compromise says i'm not always right and it's so difficult guys it's so difficult especially when you have a stronger personality to sit and listen but if you have decided that you're gonna have a partner in life you have no choice but to listen you have no choice but to die to self you know and if both of them are gonna get into a relationship another relationship i mean that means that you're still going to find the same challenges there you know and so i my heart goes out my heart goes out to both of them we can see that uh director trevor has moved on we don't know if monga eve has moved on because she hasn't shown us any signs yet but i feel like that is a golden thing they gave away right there you see monga eve was also able to you know because she was earning anyway from her instagram of course and trevor said they they reached a time where her instagram could bring more money than even the youtube channel but Trevor never really limited her from doing whatever she felt like doing. We see her shopping uh, from Fashion Nova. We see her building her, renovating rather her parents' home. They were living in a very comfortable, you know, environment as well. So I really do not know. I'd love to sit down with those two guys and just to understand. But the bottom line is the younger people that are getting married. And if I was going to take through anyone, uh, I was going to take anyone through premarital I'd tell them that you know what if you have done the groundwork with your person and you started from the bottom and they were able to take care of you at that point where you are very vulnerable where nobody else could see you then it's important for you to nurture it's it's a worthy risk for you to nurture that relationship to the very end because not most people are that patient and guys i want to hear your opinion i know most of you know this couple i know you know that story and i just want to hear your opinion down in the comment section please tell me what do you think do you think uh Mungai Eve is wise in saying that love did not bring them together. Probably that's how she feels. But love can, al can always grow. Especially from a person who has taken care of you from the beginning of times. She has also taken care of him at uh, his very worst. You know, when he didn't have much to offer. I feel like they should have held on to each other. I, 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 I feel like they should have fought for that relationship. Because it's a rare one. It's difficult to find another like that. It's difficult, especially for the girl child. It's difficult to, fight, to find a guy who actually helps you grow your vision to the level of even feeling like you have outgrown him. The truth is, he's a natural. You have not outgrown him. He's just a humble guy. That's why you feel that way. So, guys, maybe this is split milk on her end. But you tell me. Give me your views. Tell me what you think about that relationship. And if you want me to talk about yet another one, tell me down in the comment section and tell me what really you consider love to be. And uh, let's interact. Thank you for staying with me. See you on the next one. Bye.